This video will show you how to create a pocket toolpath using vCarve. First, you need to select the item you want to pocket. In this case, I'm going to select the circle. Then over here, choose the corresponding toolpath you want to make. In this case, we want pocket. Your start depth should always be zero. Set your cut depth to however deep you want your pocket to be. In this case, we're going to do a pocket a half inch deep. Remember, our material is three quarters of an inch thick. I'm going to go a half inch deep, leaving a quarter of an inch of material. Notice what happens to the passes as I change my cut depth. If I left it at 0.25, we have one pass. That's because that's how much material the shop bot can take at one time. A quarter inch. If I go anything above a quarter inch, notice it changes to two passes. If I do anything above a half inch, notice it changes to three passes. Keep this in mind as you create your toolpath. Again, today we're going to use a half inch. The bit we're going to use is a quarter inch up cut. So to, so to, to switch that or change that, you click select and find the bit you want. We're going to use quarter inch up cut. Click OK. The only other thing you have to change on a pocket toolpath is the name. You can leave it pocket one, but add some sort of description like circle. or some other descriptive word based on what you're cutting. Click Calculate and now we're going to learn how to use this preview window. Again, you can zoom by sliding your fingers down and up. You can pan by clicking Control and clicking with two fingers. And you can orbit by clicking with one finger and sliding with the second. This will allow you to see all sides of your object. To see your pocket preview, click Preview All Toolpaths. This shows you the circle going a half inch deep. And I can orbit by clicking with one finger and sliding with the second. I can reset the preview and the cut goes away. <coughs> At this point, we can close the toolpath window. Let's do another pocket. In this example, we'll do the indent intended for the cell phone. Again, I would select my vectors. I would choose pocket. This time, I'm only going to go to a depth of 0.25, so not as deep. Leave it at upcut, only going to be one pass. Scroll down, pocket two for the phone. Always rename your toolpath, click calculate, and again, let's play with the preview. I'm going to reset the preview. I can preview just the selected toolpath, which would be the one I just did. But most times, we're previewing all toolpaths. So reset the preview, preview all toolpaths, and you'll see the circle and the phone. I can then orbit, and you can see the circle is deeper than the phone. That's because we told that in the toolpath. We told it how deep to go. In this example, there's no more pocket toolpaths, so we're going to watch another video on how to do our profile toolpaths.